Think twice. Think fork, <laughs> spoon, and knife. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, it's a real Hello. privilege to be here. I'm actually a safety inspector How working for Horizon Worlds and indeed VR in general. Here, Just popping into the different <laughs> venues, making sure they're 100% safe. Oh, oh, that's good sorry. news, guys. This venue is 100% safe, except we've had Buckingham Palace and the Royal Family have been in touch. During the recent storms, they lost one of their giant Union Jack picnic blankets. Oh, if you look up, you can see it through the glass roof. They want it back. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gents, uh, what you have to remember is this, uh, that here in the world of VR, we are 100% safe as long as we don't have an accident. Now, uh, put up your hand or give me a cheer if you've used cutlery. I'm talking knives, forks and spoons in the last 24 hours. Give me a wave. Come on, don't be shy. This is totally interactive. Uh, OK, we've got some good results there. Think once, think twice. <laughs> think fork, spoon and knife. You've probably seen the poster. <laughs> That's one of mine. Take good forking care of your cutlery. That's also one of mine. Currently running as a pilot phase poster campaign in motorway service station toilets southbound on the M6, M5, M1. If it goes well, we're going northbound. A fork in the hand is less painful than two in the bush. That's one we've been asked to rewrite. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> now, please relax. I, I, I think I, I, th I think I've uh, one or two of you looking a bit concerned. I've heard some uh, concerning announcements. Please relax. Every single one of you will be getting a certificate of attendance. You can count that towards your annual CPD, your staff development, or if you're out of work, pop it on your CV. Now, I have <laughs> a feeling that um, you guys might need a bit of practical demonstration. I'm going to come on to that in a second. But what I need to tell you about is that each year here in the UK, give me a cheer if you're actually from the UK or have heard of the UK or once saw a picture of the UK. Give me a cheer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, here in the UK, sadly, we have 12,000 accidental deaths. Please do not be one of them. Although my friend over there, equestrian Davey, running around like a loose horse on the loose. We've got the uh, accident book standing by, my friend. Uh, here in the UK, 12,000 accidental deaths. But the reason I'm hearing it can be a bit shocking when you hear it for the first time. There are four or five cutlery-related deaths each year. Okay. And I know what you're thinking. Is it four or is it five? The truth is we had one happen right on the gong of New Year's Eve, and we haven't decided whether to count it as last year. Oh, this year. I, I tell you what we're going to do, Moo. We're going we're gonna to put the microphone there and we're going to move on to the practical part of the demonstration. Now, whatever you do, just make sure that... And when you wake up in the morning and you think, did this really happen? Believe you me, it did. One. Think once, think twice. Here we go. Don't be a loon. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, no, that's uh, never run with a spoon. Here we go. Don't be a clown. <clears throat> Turn that fork down you got that i'll just i'll just come over here don't be a clown turn that fork down if you are going to leave a fork unsupervised it only takes a moment to turn it over thus minimizing the likelihood of a prong or tine related injury uh, uh give me a cheer if you're a fan of the fork give me a cheer We've got some fork fans down here here's an amazing fact and not everybody knows this every fork that's ever been created, imagined, painted, or talked about, always has one more prong than it does gaps. It's easy to remember if you have G for gaps, G plus one equals P. If you're making notes, I can slow down. Everyone okay with that? That's the fork. No now, getting a lot of accidents reported, people spreading butter, on toast, please use the knife. It's ideally designed for the job. Look, let let the knife glide from side to side. <laughs> Notice how my fingers are in the air there, not only acting as a natural counterweight and balance to the steel alloy knife, but also warning anyone around me in Horizon Worlds, VR, and in the physical world that the knife is in operation. 
I need your help. You want your certificates. Don't be a nutter. Use a knife to spread. Butter. 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 <laughs> I noticed a little bit of That's reticence and slow hesitance up at the back there. But please be reassured, it will also work with non-dairy and olive-based spreads. And the only other one I really wanted to mention, only a full breaks the one spoon rule, but you already know that one. Now, size to injury ratio, the teaspoon is one of the most dangerous cutlery items. Just going to put the fork over there. He's quite friendly, but I was going to try and grab the microphone here, my friends. Um, now then, give me a cheer if you have ever been to Grimsby. Oh, yeah. Granny's been to Grimsby. Anyone else? Are you thinking of going back is the question? Because a few years ago, it was a very dangerous place. This is a true story, my friends. Uh, have a look on Google. Just Google Grimsby Lions. A few years ago, three lions escaped from a circus in the middle of the town there. And a young man, Michael Strand, was minding his own business. True story, playing snooker in the snooker hall. And he packed up to head home to see his young family. He headed home through the town, got the shock of his life when he came in face-to-face uh, -face with a fully grown, we're talking fully grown, adult, we're talking adult, mature lion it knocked him to the ground began to maul him if it hadn't been for a quick thinking police officer who uh, used his car to nudge him off <laughs> it might not have been uh, uh, such a happy ending he walked away with his life 24 stitches happy ending not quite because unfortunately michael as a lifelong football fan it ruined his enjoyment of the euros and the world cup because uh, he has flashbacks every time he hears three lines on a shirt. <laughs> it, it was worth the wait, I think. And it's a true story. That's the amazing thing. Now, since that day, since that day, they have, you, you, a lot of you are looking worried. You're unlikely to be attacked by a lion. The reason for that is since that day, they've learned how to store lions. But I have worked the following out. Did you know, does anyone here live near London? Or have you ever been to London? Or have you ever seen a picture of London? Give me a cheer. Oh, yeah, we've got a few. We've got a few. Now, they say in London, you're never more than six feet from a rat. Now, what about this? I've done the maths. Because of all the animal parks, zoos and visitor centres with animals, you are never more than 137 miles from a bear. And because of that, I want to warn you about the dangers of being attacked by a grizzly. Now, for £24 on Amazon, you can buy yourself some uh, bear spray. I suggest you get some, £24. Clip it to your belt. If you see a bear at 60 feet, safety catch off. The bear's at 30 feet, you need to be aiming down at a 45 degree angle and spray. You need a cloud of spray at 15 feet, so when that bear enters the cloud, it will go into its eyes, it will go into its airway. The bear will turn round. As the bear turns round, give it a little spray on the back end. Yeah, send it on its way with some sting on the ring. It will not be back unless it's into that sort of thing. The time you need to worry, that will work. The time you need to worry is if the bear attacks from behind. If you get a grizzly, grizzly attack from behind, you need to know that a bear is interested in only two things. Food and mating. Now, believe you me, you will not have time to get your lunchbox out your bag. So you better brace yourself because you're going to be in for some bear romance. And trust me, each adult bear will copulate for up to 30 minutes at a time for a number of times in the same 24 hour period with the same partner. Therefore, you will be in for a long stint. My advice, pack a Kindle and a high energy snack. Yes. Thank you. And uh, uh, what, el what else can I tell you, my friends? Um, I just wanted to warn you about some general health and safety. This club is 100% safe. Let's have a round of applause and a cheer for the creators of this wonderful new club. You can even smell it's new. It's Tom and James. Let's give them a round of applause. I've been round and it's pixel safe. Every single pixel in this club is safe. That's not the same in every room in Horizon Worlds, folks. Uh, unfortunately, last week we had two VR trekkers, Horizon World users. Their headsets were only a, qu a quarter powered up and they saw a crack in the wall and a purple light emitting from that wall. They went towards the wall. They went towards the crack. They fell in. We have not been able to get them out. They've powered down. We've tried to get water and valuable nutrients to them, but I'm afraid it looks like it's all over. We have told 
their families. Therefore, for your own safety's sake, if you see a crack, make sure you step back. Watch out for the light. It could give a fright. And you need to know about this stuff, folks. Um, give me a cheer if you've got a dog at home. Give me a cheer if you've got a dog, you know a dog, or you've ever seen a photo of a dog, yeah? Lots of you there. That's brilliant. Well, what about this? Uh, people oh, are getting lazier. Yes. Since the, invention, since the invention of the headset and uh, virtual reality, people are getting lazy. They're no longer taking their dogs for a walk. They're strapping their headsets onto their dogs and sending their dogs for virtual walks. Yeah, have you heard about this? Please do not do it. If your dog sees a virtual rabbit with a headset on, he will chase after it. If he sees a virtual log and leaps over it, that could well be your coffee table. If you've got a boiling hot cup of tea on that coffee table... There's a risk that that dog could, as it leaps over, boil its bits and pieces. Now, when I say bits and pieces, the reason I use that term is because I've been told not to use the word bollocks. <laughs> the, um, the other thing I wanted to mention before I go, folks, uh, apart from the fact how safe and wonderful this great new comedy club is, my name's Ian Crawford. I'm like an international health and safety expert. And just in case you're wondering what's happening, every single one of you will be getting a certificate of attendance. Just give me your details and I'll uh, fax it over to you. Now, I'm so old that I can remember a world before these headsets were invented, but my dad invented virtual reality in the 1990s. Yeah, we used to have virtual reality holidays. He used to get his motorcycle helmet and on the inside of the visor, he had pasted um, seaside resort postcards and uh, we would sit there uh, enjoying our holiday. And to make it more realistic, he would put sand, seaweed, broken glass and donkey crap on the carpet. My friends, <laughs> we were virtually there. And I've got some good news. I'm, I'm virtually there. I, I, the history books will show that I, Ian Crawford, top international health and safety uh, inspector, was here, not only with his cutlery, but I was the first act here at this club. Let me remind myself where I am. Oh, yeah, Churchill's <laughs> Comedy Club in VR, <laughs> Section 7, Level 9. Ladies and gents, I've got a funny feeling that we have made this room a little bit safer. Now, remember, not everybody could get in here. So I'm relying on you spreading the cutlery safety message with all your friends and family. It's not fair to wake them up when you get home tonight, but please do try to catch them before breakfast. My name's Ian Crawford. I'm a top international health and safety inspector. Um, you can make my day simply by staying safe. Whatever you do, stay safe, stay cutlery safe. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Oh, yeah, you better believe it. Oh, mic drop. <laughs> oh, you do. Whatever you want. <laughs> All right, fabulous. Let's just go until everyone gets on the stage. We're getting there. All right, how's it going, everyone? As you said, we're the... You guys are spread out. We don't want to get near you. I don't know where that chicken's been. I don't smell that bad. Anyways, so we are the Comco Theatre. We're going to do some improv games for you guys. Um, we got half an hour, so um, try put up for, with us for that long. So, first we're going to start with get right into it. We're going to play a game called Innuendos. And how this game works is you guys are going to give us a prompt and we're going to make dirty windows to each other with said prompt. So, <laughs> does anyone have a prompt? It could be anything. It could be a plumber. And you it can also be... use the world chat. You can put the yes. prompts oh, yeah, in the chat for any away. of the games that we are using. Because we can't really hear you. Uh, so if you have any ideas, come up a little closer to the stage or put it in the world chat so we can read it off. Uh, it, it, we'll probably do a couple of our own first. I'll mention so they can scenes get in the, the chat head. in a second, don't worry. Yeah. First, we're going to get a prompt. Does anyone have any prompt? It can literally be anything. Daycare. Got to get close to the stage. We can't yeah, really you're gonna hear Yeah, you need to get close if you want to hear you. Daycare. Daycare. We are not going to do a daycare with dirty windows. That would be a very bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> you're you are muted, failure. so that might you, help. You're to, so yeah. muted. They remake of the police academy movies. 
police academy. Police academy. You don't even know what that is, yeah, guys. I don't know, but this is innuendo. So you guys are going to turn police Dude, into... Does right, the rest of get... us know what police academy is? <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Never we're going to bring Joker, and we're going to bring Meta Voice, because he doesn't know what it is. You guys, start with Meta Voice. I, I can do this one. Start with innuendos. Can you join on Bluetooth? You can put me in handcuffs inside, you know what I mean? Needs to be audible. <laughs> that was that, that is, was one of the characters. Academy. I, oh I, I how about this one? Um <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pin you against the wall if you know what I mean. I'm gonna flip over your police car if you know what I mean. I'm gonna need to hike up those shorts if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm gonna have to climb up those walls if you know what I mean. I'm definitely going to need a bigger baton, if you know what I mean. I'm going to have to write you a ticket, if you know what I mean. I'm going to let you pin me. I mean, I'm going to strongly object to that, if you know what I mean. I'm going to use these new handcuffs, if you know what I mean. Mm. I'm going to turn on your lights, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'm going to make your mouth do sound effects, if you know what I mean. We're, we're going to stop that no. round right there, because I can see the back left of the audience already getting hot and heavy. So, we're going to bring in Sheehan, and we're going to bring in Berlina. Can we get another prompt? <laughs> Any prompt for anyone? Or I'm just going to start making these up. Love you, Stern. Oh, no. I love you. How are you going to make dirty <laughs> innuendos with waffles? Go ahead. Waffle it's House. Waffle could. House. He could. I'm going to cover you with syrup, if you know what I mean. I'm going to steam your waffles oh, all over, if you know what I mean. Oh, I'm going to put you in my toaster, if you know what I'm talking about. Speak louder! I'm, I'm going to put you in my toaster, if you know what Thank I'm you. talking about. <laughs> I'm going to put some extra maple syrup on your stack of waffles, if you know what I mean. I'm going to whip up your batter, if you know what I'm saying. I'm going to slap your waffle on you, if you know what I mean. I I, I really, I don't. What? I want yeah, to know, though. No, no, keep going. No. Oh, oh, uh, uh, I'm going to uh, butter you up. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? How, how are you mm, I'm going to eat burn. it with all fork, if you know what I mean. I'm going to use both hands at your waffle house, if you know what I'm talking about. I can't wait to go between your waffles, if you know what I mean. I don't know what that means. I, I don't, I don't either, but I want to know more. I, I, I want to double your waffle. Just turn you know around. I mean. You can get two waffles. Okay, we are not one. going to. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to move on to the what next the game. What the fuck just happened? I don't know That's what just what happened. That was very go. strange. <laughs> we're just going to skip over to change here, all right? So, so change? Uh, yes. Yes. I'm directing this. <laughs> okay, you can direct change. You're right. Hi, here. everyone. I'm Meta Voice. What change is, is I get two of these fools up here. <laughs> it's really fun. Uh, they kind of are two personalities talking about a topic, and I tell them to change every once in a while if I just don't like what they have to say. And I can say it as many times as I want, and they just have to keep thinking of new stuff. And it's really hilarious. So first off, I'm going to shout out there. And by the way, to use your world chat is right here on your wrist. You just you kind of click on it. And then you kind of type in what you want. There you go. Like Shihan's doing right now. Someone said toilet paper planes. All right, we're going to use that later. Uh, so, oh, that's a good idea. Toilet paper planes. So they're going to invent planes out of toilet paper, but I need two characters. Can I get a characters? People in history, uh, fiction, movies, whatever. Remember, come in close to let us know or put it in the chat. Got, gotcha. No, no, not, can't, not, that's not a person. Unless, I've never heard of a person named Suck It no, before. That's not Suck It, that's Suck Eat. Dolly Parton, a Mario, Parton. Abe, now you guys Mario. are getting in, girls in other pixels have the idea. So we're going to have, Shihan does a terrible job yeah. as Mario. So, Scottish, <laughs> you're Mario. Oh, oh no. Um... <laughs> It's SpongeBob, so Mario and SpongeBob. SpongeBob is Joker Carday. Joker. Yeah, he does a great job. Uh, so, Sp <laughs> so Joker Carday and uh, Scottish Jesus, you were both are going to be uh, talking about your big plan, uh, how you're going to get out of being cartoons and make it big with airplanes made out of toilet paper. All right, take it away. Who is Scottish again? Scottish <laughs> happens to be a uh, Mario. Oh, no. and, and not the Chris Pratt one, the one that almost gets you canceled. <laughs> <laughs> not again. Okay. <clears throat> I got big plans here, Mario. Big plans. Oh, you said that last time about the uh, the spaghetti uh, helicopter. I'm going to move me and Gary into a big pineapple. Change. 
I'm going to move me and Gary into Squidward's house. Change. I'm going to move in with Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's not good. Last time you move in with a Patrick, you... He was a square fish last time. We hit no, rock change. Bottom, yes. He was a circle last time we saw him. Change. Now look. You made him go through seven years of therapy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I like that voice, Scottish. It's scary. <laughs> well, why don't you not go up with some stupid idea? Give me a good idea. Well, you see, we got all this toilet paper, but the problem is we're underwater. Change. Um, and I got to make airplane. The problem is I'm surrounded by bikini bottoms. <laughs> Where's the problem? <laughs> <laughs> There's just not enough toilet paper to go around. Change. There's just more toilet paper than I know what to do with. Change. I know what you can do with that toilet paper, SpongeBob. Where the <laughs> fuck did he come from? Anyways. <laughs> All right, you go. You get the you get the job. Good job, <laughs> Good job to our entertainers. Woo! Confetti in the air. If you were paying attention to that, I'm holy perfect. shit, more than I actually thought. All right, All right. Now, you. Hey, Victor. What? what? Me, me, oh, yeah, I'm gonna direct it again, right? No, no, no. No, it's, you're in it. If you want I'm, to see my voice get changed and tortured a bunch of times, confetti in there. Don't and put jump. the confetti. Come on, yeah, don't, don't put the confetti. Yeah, you don't have to. Yeah. Yeah. All the things Come on, the is broken. Okay, All right, so as Meta Voice doesn't went up shit, we'll go with Sheehan this round. Okay, so can we please get two characters? Right in your chat. Look, right look, look in the chat. They have a whole the bunch chat, of chat. That thing that you know yeah, they use these days in VR. Yeah, but here, so Just maybe they want a sure special one. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, that and they also have a whole bunch that are already use the like chat. Together. You work as an entertainer in there's, VR. There's no. Morgan Freeman, God Jim Carrey, Bob MJ, Marley, Jaws the Shark, Bob Marley, Patrick Stewart. <laughs> I'm not doing anything that gets me canceled. Thatcher, Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Tiger, oh, what the hell? Oh, oh. Do the queen. Do the queen. Oh, the queen. Oh, oh. In a, That's basically in a just Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bob Morley. Hold on, we're getting some interesting he, ones here. Jimmy, Jimmy Neutron. Brain Blast. Trump. Trump. Okay. All right, you're going to have to pick some oh, characters. Your voice, you're you're Trump. Trump. They're just going to keep Trump, going. Voice. You're Trump. And what? You're Trump. You're Trump. Donald Trump. Oh. Oh. Prepare to get cancelled. No, no, I told you I can't do anything that gets me cancelled. No, so okay. he can be okay. Shihan can be Trump. Shihan's Trump. Okay, Shihan, you're getting cancelled. You're Trump. Kim Jong un um, can't cancel what hasn't started. Correct. And That's then, true. Meta voice, you <laughs> are What Obama. the hell is Obama? Duck, Duck Dynasty, Dynasty Bible, Bible sales. sales? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, we're getting some more. Don't worry, guys. Bear with us. We're gonna get some. I like that one. Nice Chicken. Thing. You want to be Duck Dynasty Bible sales, Matt Voice? Trying to sell Trump um, Duck <laughs> Dynasty Bibles. Yes. yes. He's gonna invest. It's gonna be huge. <laughs> yes. No, no, you're. <laughs> Oh, wait. No, you're actually <laughs> selling Donald Trump. I'm selling him Duck Dynasty no, no, Bibles. You're selling Donald Trump. Again, I can't get canceled, Scottish. Can't, I, I'm going to fire you if you try Trump one more time. Trump politics. Yes. Flea Market Montgomery? Oh, what? yeah. Just pick one. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll pick one. Three you're Chicken later. Little. No. Oh, yeah, something you don't want Chicken Little? I heard no. All noise. right. A confetti for Chicken Little. Confetti person, for two, selling three, Trump three, Duck Dynasty Bibles. Duck Dynasty Bibles? We'll do that. We'll do that one then. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, shit. I'm going right. to be mean to you. Knock, knock, knock. Quack, quack. <laughs> knock, mm, knock, knock. Quack, yes, quack. I'm the butler. Hey, um, do I have the best deal for you? You look like a great man. You must be Trump. Full head of hair, no, great no, posture no. and figure. You stand tall. <laughs> I mean, you must be the man himself. These Bibles don't sell themselves. They sell them to you. It's not a sale. It's a way of life. Duck Dynasty. The quacks you never knew you needed. Mr. Trump. 
Yes, uh, uh, yeah, I, I hear Dear you. Dear God, huge, you have a huge deal for me. Just like I mean, hat. yes, these hats are huge. Okay. A terrific deal for you. So, so Duck Dynasty is uh-huh. the way to a better duck calling. Change. Duck Dynasty Bibles will change your life. Change. <laughs> duck Dynasty is change. going. Would you like to be president? Change. <laughs> it's not even making any sense. I'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> nothing makes sense. Does anything make sense anymore? Yeah, no, yeah. you know that. You, you know it, so yeah, here, makes sense. great nothing investment. Makes sense. It's gonna be a huge. It's the best deal. It's, uh, I know great. Don't deal. you want to know what friends. the details are? And all first? my friends say that this is gonna be a great Change. deal. I know that all my friends say this is gonna be Change. a shite deal. And, and all my friends say that they are going to invest heavily. Change, in this. You have no and, friends. And all my clients say that Trump has lots of friends. And, that, <laughs> all my clients say that they would invest heavily into these duck Bibles because they don't, are just quacking Don't up you want to hear? It's huge. Don't you want to hear the details first about the inside the books and, and what they're about? No, uh, books, words, sentences. Uh, it's gotcha. Uh, so so we're going to make America great again. Okay? It's we're three going... easy payments of 300 years. Um, mm-hmm. added on to the tax would be forty-five billion dollars. Would that be okay? Yeah. You got that money, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. I have so much money. Change. I have. Uh, yeah, it's no problem. I have too much money. Change. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, no, I'm actually very broke. <laughs> I lost it Change. all in stocks and bonds. Actually, no. <laughs> I have all the money. <laughs> this whole idiot persona. It's been a lie. Change. I've been this whole idiot <laughs> persona. It's been fabricated. I am actually Dr. Evil. Where the fuck is this going? We're going to end that there. <laughs> Thank We're you. End that there. <laughs> All right. So how much time do we have? We have time for one more game. Okay. So we're going to go with, oh, scenes from a chat. So the way this works is you guys. The same way you've to... been doing your chats in the world chat. Right. So you guys are going to write stuff in the chat. For example, um, we'll do this one first while you guys think of stuff, but one of the things we do is, like, something you can say to your motorcycle, but not your wife. Alright, something along those lines, we're gonna do that right now. Something you can say to a motorcycle, but not your wife. I really need to upgrade those headlamps. Man, this thing's full of gas. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have got this from China. <laughs> Steven, so. I guess your engine doesn't run anymore. Is it a kickstart? Oh, wow. Google says it's now an antique. It's, it's been around long enough. <laughs> I hate these pre-used models. <laughs> Man, a bitch is just as much as you. <laughs> Man, I gotta get this thing lubed. What do you mean I'm too heavy to ride? It wasn't a problem five years ago. <laughs> what do you mean you're too tired? Off. Sometimes we're getting around 300,000 miles. Time for a newer yeah, model. Yeah, time to upgrade. Uh, I love how cushioned your seat is. Yeah, yeah, Cheers. Ian Crawford. He said it was hilarious. I was reading it. All right. <laughs> this has the <laughs> biggest trunk capacity I've ever seen. I can fit almost my whole leg in there. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna move on to the granny what's wrong with you <laughs> there goes the coin <laughs> okay so uh we're gonna we're gonna add to well, what should we do I, now i'm looking at these i meaning you guys give us examples and we'll do them um but we yeah, can not with... not while we're giving it yeah you guys are actually playing it are you playing the game with us in the <laughs> chat what that's kind what of shit doing. is this that's why i read ian's because it's like his would be good in the game Holy we need we need four something five to make people just left on. at the same so time to a guy yeah they're in a group together this. okay so let's move on to the next one final words on the titanic mm. <laughs> i got it oh go ahead but oh, that's true Ice, ice, baby, to go, to go. Oh, I really love this song. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. Going to the Caribbean this time of year was a bad idea, wasn't it? <laughs> she drowned first. <laughs> go on a cruise, she said. It'll be fun, she said. 
my therapist is right. I have no reason to fear swimming. I, this boat won't sink. Uh, this is great. Man, I've this had thing's... enough of these thinking ships. Oh, I mean, these sinking ships. Man, this thing's half my size. I guess it's only for me. Holy ship! The ship's got holes in it. Honey, don't you think there's a few less to to less lifeboats? What do you mean? No, it just seems like that there's a few missing. <laughs> I spy an iceberg. What do you else see? <laughs> that was funny. Shots on the bridge. Oh, an iceberg? Great. We need it for margaritas. Oh, we're going to hit. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Sir, uh, the, the 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 child with cancer came in. They really want to drive the boat. Oh yes, uh, come here, little Teddy. <laughs> Grab a hold of the wheel here. You'll be fine. It sails itself. <laughs> All what right. Do you mean I'm not giving you enough space. There's more than enough room in that door. <laughs> All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, the captain will go down with the ship. And Timmy came by earlier. He said he wanted to be captain, right? You're captain now, Timmy. Go down with the ship. Yippee! I need a spot. Want to play the flowing game? Woo! <laughs> 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 the first three letters is tit. That's why. You know, I think I'll survive this. I, I, I've i played something like this in VR. Damn. No. No. Okay, we're gonna that, go to no, the hell just fall? What the hell? What we're the... <laughs> we're gonna go just... with um, I, I almost got the fuck? things <laughs> you can say at a family. No, nope. Things you shouldn't say at a funeral. So, uh, I, I seen you got that brand new, you know, upgraded wife. Y you, you gonna finish that? <laughs> no. Cool. <laughs> and I said, wrecked him. Damn near killed him. <laughs> and then you died. And I just, I, I don't know what the. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I got the most money out of her. <laughs> you know, at least he died doing what he loved with a smile on his face. But I mean, couldn't we have at least closed half the casket? <laughs> you stole me five dollars, you prick. Well, thank God, divorce wasn't an option because I didn't want to go for that. <laughs> you were dying to do that, huh? <laughs> Straight up killed it. Look, man, you remember when you said you were my ride or die? Look, I got a, you know, some evidence. I got to just, just keep a hold of that little <laughs> quick for me. I'll come back for it later on with a shovel. Don't you worry. When I said till death do we part, I didn't mean cut me out of the will. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to end it there. I thank all of you for watching us and our fucking buffoonery. We did the thing. It's been lovely having you guys. We will see you later. <laughs> Thank you so I'm much for having they're us. still around. I, uh... <laughs> All right. I'm going to head away now. I'll see you later. Shouldn't you probably have hit us and, and have a conversation? What about... Take it to Becker! Like and save, like and save. <laughs> Great show.